then the, the, our next product is, is Blind Sight, which will enable those who have total loss of vision, including if they've lost their eyes or the optic nerve, or maybe have never seen, or blind, even blind from birth, to be able to see again. Uh, initially low resolution, but ultimately very high resolution, and and then in multiple wavelengths. So you could be like Geordi LaForge in Star Trek, and you can see in radar, you can see in infrared, ultraviolet, superhuman capabilities, um, cybernetic enhancement essentially. Um, and then along the way, this should help us understand a lot more about consciousness. What does it mean to be a, a conscious creature? Um, will understand vastly more about the nature of consciousness as a result of this. And then ultimately, I think this helps mitigate the civilizational risk of artificial intelligence. Um, we're, we are actually already, we already sort of have three layers of thinking. Um, there's the limbic system, which is your kind of your instincts, the, corti the, the your uh, cortical system, which is your higher level planning and thinking. And then the tertiary layer, which is uh, the computers and machines that you interact with, like your phone, your, all the applications you use. Um, so you, people actually are already a cyborg. You can maybe have an intuitive sense for this by how much you miss your phone if you leave it behind. Uh, leaving your phone behind is like, it's almost like missing limb syndrome. Um, your phone is somewhat of an extension of yourself as is your computer. So. You, um, you already have this digital tertiary layer, but the bandwidth between your cortex and your digital tertiary layer is limited by speech and by, and by how fast you can move your fingers and how fast you can consume.